Over 90% of business owners will overpay their taxes this year. How do I know this? Well, first of all, 90% of business owners overpay their taxes every year, according to Forbes. And secondly, I work with business owners every day at mycpacoach.com and literally almost 100% of them are overpaying on taxes prior to hiring me. My name is Sherman, the CPA, and today I'm going to walk you through the top five mistakes to avoid if you do not want to become a statistic and overpay your taxes like most people. If you watch this video until the end, I am willing to bet you that you will find an area that you need to optimize to keep more of your hard earned money. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. All right, mistake number one, your books are not done. Even the IRS says this will help you keep track of deductible expenses for your business, which will help you pay less taxes. Yet nearly half of all small business owners do not use any bookkeeping system to keep track of their business expenses. And there are over 40 million businesses in the US, which means there are over 20 million business owners with unorganized financials that may cost them big money at tax time but most people are completely unaware of how this actually costs them more money in taxes. So let's walk through this quickly. So let's say your business earned $100,000 in sales based on deposits you have received or 1099 statements you receive for tax purposes. Millions of business owners are taking their sales numbers and paying tax on the entire amount without deducting all of their business expenses which ends up costing them more money in taxes. So let's say you had $80,000 in deductible business expenses. In that case, you should only pay tax on the remaining $20,000 in profits, not the entire amount of sales you earned. I once had a client that paid $100,000 more in taxes because he reported his 1099 income without deducting his expenses. This is a huge mistake. So remember, tax is assessed on income after taking all business deductions. Sadly, many business owners do not even know what deductions they can take because they do not track them. It's that simple. You cannot deduct something you do not track. And if you do not have time to do your own books, just hire a low cost vendor to do this for you. I'm a licensed CPA and I don't even do my own books. It's just not worth my time as a business owner. And by the way, if you want to use the vendor I use for all of my clients and my own companies, just click the link in my bio for a discount and a free consultation. But even the best bookkeeping system will not completely prevent you from overpaying your taxes. So let's keep going here. Mistake number two, you are missing tax deductions. A good bookkeeping system will identify obvious tax deductions. But the truth is that some tax deductions are less obvious than others, especially personal assets or personal expenses you incur that may be related to your business. Generally, the tax law allows you to write off the business usage of personal expenses you incur. And 90% of business owners miss these tax write-offs every single year. So here are some of the most missed tax deductions I see business owners miss every year that you may be able to use. Number one, the home office deduction, which allows you to write off a portion of all of your home expenses under your business. Number two, the business meals deduction. This allows you to write off a portion of your dining expenses as long as you are discussing business with a business contact. Number three, the business travel deduction, which allows you to write off a portion of your travel expenses if there is a business purpose for the travel. Number four, health insurance, which allows you to write off your family's health insurance premiums under your business. And finally, number five, the depreciation deduction, which allows you to write off a portion of business assets you own every year until it becomes worthless. It does not matter if it is a personal car, personal home, rental, cell phone, or whatever the case may be. If you use a portion of it for your business, 
you can likely write off a portion of it as a business expense. So to avoid overpaying taxes, make sure you look at all expenses you pay for that may have a business purpose and seek to maximize your tax write-offs. Mistake number three, you are not creating tax deductions. Savvy business owners do not just find missing tax deductions, they take full control over their taxes and look to create tax deductions to reduce their taxes by as much as they would like to. Now, the easiest way to do this is to simply reinvest profits into growing your business. Here are some of the most common tax deductions you can create by doing so. Number one, spending more money on advertising. The money you spend to promote your business is 100% deductible. Number two, spending more money on education. The money you spend to improve your business skills and knowledge is also 100% deductible. And number three, spending more money to develop or improve your product services or processes. This is also deductible and may also be eligible for the research and development tax credit. These are all things you can invest in to help grow your business while minimizing your tax bill along the way. But this is not the only way to create tax deductions through your business. Outside of reinvesting capital back into your business, you can also hire family members to work for your business and write off the payments you make to them, or you can rent your personal residence to your business and write off the payments you make to yourself, which is tax-free if done less than 14 days per year. Or you can set up self-employed retirement accounts and write off your retirement contributions when made to a traditional retirement account. Anyway, before you do any of this, you need to make sure you understand the rules associated with any tax write-off you're looking to create. I am oversimplifying very complex concepts here, but if you wanna learn more about anything that I'm talking about, just let me know in the comments below. But tax write-offs are not the only thing that could cause you to overpay on taxes. So let's keep it moving here. Mistake number four, you are operating in the wrong entity. Some business entities pay less taxes than others. This is a very simple truth. Yet most business owners are unaware of the best entity to use in order to save the most amount of money in taxes. So let's talk about it. In general, most small businesses pay a 15.3% self-employment tax in addition to all of their federal and state income tax liability. That's $15,000 in additional taxes on $100,000 in income. Now, almost every entity pays self-employment tax. LLCs, partnerships, sole proprietors, or unincorporated businesses are all considered disregarded entities that must pay this tax. But the two entities that do not directly pay this tax are C corporations and S corporations. Instead, owners of corporations must be paid wages subject to employment taxes. This is typically done through a payroll system. The end result is typically 50 to 70% less tax than they would pay in self-employment tax. Which means that if you elect to be taxed as a corporation, you can save a lot of money in taxes. Now between these two, the S corporation tax status is the most popular option among small business owners. S corporations are not subject to self-employment tax and they are not subject to double taxation like C corporations, making them very attractive to savvy small business owners. With that said, self-employment tax is just one consideration when it comes to selecting your business entity. You also have to weigh in the additional rules, tax filing requirements, and additional costs to run a corporation against the benefit of saving money in taxes. If your business is not earning a lot of income, then forming a corporation could just create more problems and end up costing you more money in the long run. Most tax advisors would not recommend changing your entity until you are earning at least $40,000 in business income. And even then, some would still argue that it should be much greater than this. Nonetheless, it will be in your best interest to educate yourself on the potential pros and cons for your unique situation to avoid overpaying taxes. Mistake number five, you are using the wrong tax professional. If you are not a master at navigating the tax law, then hopefully your tax advisor is. If not, you could pay a devastating amount more in taxes. For most people, their tax advisor is either 
One, a money sucking expense that ends up costing them more money. Or number two, an investment that provides them with a return in the form of reduced taxes. Ideally, your tax advisor pays for themselves and is so confident that they will guarantee you the amount of money that they can save you in taxes. But sadly, due to the nature of the tax industry today, most tax advisors are, in fact, money sucking expenses. Only 18% of tax firms prioritize proactive tax planning. Most tax firms do not even offer a service to help with the things we covered in this video, which only leads to more small businesses overpaying in taxes, which is exactly why I created this channel to help people like you reduce their taxes. So look, if you want a tax plan that is guaranteed to reduce your taxes, go to mycpacoach.com right now and apply to work with one of our tax advisors. And be sure to subscribe for more guidance to less stress and lower taxes.